Tyler Ripkema, his first pole of the season, second career pole, will lead the field to the green flag on the inside lane, while Ryan Priest, NASCAR Cup Series star, in the 40 car, returns to modified competition, and he will get him going tonight here at Martinsville as the green flag flies NASCAR to modified. Caution flag is out on the opening circuit as four cars have come together off the end of the front straightaway. Ken Hagee is involved, Andy Jan Koyak in the number 59, Kyle Ebersole in the five, and John Michael Chenette in the 28 machine all colliding at the entrance of turn one will bring us under a caution early on here tonight in the Virginia's for Racing Lovers 200 at Martinsville. It's back underway here in the Wheel and Modified Tour season finale. The green flag is back out for the restart. Kyle Ripkema off and running as they stack up a little bit deeper in the field. Two leaders race side by side to turn one. Priest with a good run off turn two, edges out in front of Ripkema down into turn three, and he'll clear the 32 and take over the top spot. To work through traffic, Bobby Santos now going a lap down, and we've got trouble. It's Dave Zapienza on the front straightaway has gone around in the 36 car. That'll bring us under our second caution here tonight, 52 laps into the Virginia's for Racing Lovers 200 at Martinsville. Ryan Priest continues to show the way. Off turn number four into the Geico restart zone. The green flag is waving again at Martinsville. A clean restart deeper in the pack for our championship contenders as the battle is on for the race lead. Emberling to the bottom going toe to toe with Matt Hirschman to the outside, dead even down into turn three. Emberling allows his car to drift up in the middle of the corner, but Hirschman hangs tough to the outside. Bonsignor had a great start in the outside lane, but contact is made. Lutz into the side of Bonsignor. Bonsignor goes sideways. In the meantime, the 16 car of Ronnie Silk was going backwards, and then chaos behind them. Austin Beers is in it. Eric Burnt in the 79. Zapienza again. Dylan Slepian and Burt Myers all involved, but two cars with heavy damage. And that's Austin Beers in the 64. Left front pointed skyward on that machine in the Eric Burnt number 79. Both tires pointing in the same direction. Three single file, Seist, the bumper tag, pushing Matt Hirschman. Oh, trouble on the back straightaway, and Ronnie Silk is in it. Silk goes around midway down the back straightaway as the 22 car has gone airborne over the front of the three of Brian Narducci. Only one time has Ron Silk finished eighth or better, where he needs to finish tonight in his seven starts here at Martinsville. This racetrack has not been all that kind to him, but he's won four times at tracks for the first time this year, so he's got a couple of things that could work in his favor. Priest in third. Now Bonsignor will go to the outside lane, but the caution is out. Brandon Ward is spun in turn three and four. No real need to press the issue right now when he looks at the big picture of the championship chase. Caution flag is out. 111 laps in. The Virginia's for Racing Lovers, 200, and it's for Dave Zapienza. The second time tonight, he's got problems. This time, he's got contact. He's over the curbing and the inside at Martinsville, and he made contact with an inside concrete barrier. 75 laps to go, and the battle is on for the race lead. Labonte trying to hang tough in the outside lane. He's got a good run off turn two down the back straightaway. Down low, Tani Catalano holding on, and he is able to nose ahead ever so slightly and take the race lead back again for Bobby Labonte. Emerling, aggressive, muscles his way down to the bottom, somehow misses the curving to the inside of turns one and two, and now he draws even with Catalano midway down the back straightaway. Here comes Emerling looking for the race lead in turn three. Prouse lost two spots in the exchange as Ripkema gets by, and now caution flag is out. We've got trouble in turn two. It's the 04 of Brandon Ward who's going around again, and Burt Myers, two of the Bowman Gray Stadium standouts, have both gotten into it in turns one and two. Myers' car pointed in the right direction in turn one. He's rolling once again, but damage to the front bumper of the 04 of Brandon Ward. Emerling misses turn one, and that opens up the door to the bottom as Priest comes back in. On the back straightaway, Priest runs to the inside lane. 
score of the lap for Ryan Priest with 60 laps to go. He's back out in front of the modified race here at Martinsville. Trouble for the 82 in turn two. Craig Lutz is in the wall. Caution is out. And there's a ton of damage to the left rear of the 82 of Craig Lutz. Out front, that battle that we were watching is calm down for a moment. So the caution flag is out. And we've got two cars into it on the front straightaway. It's Eric Goodale for the second time tonight. Dave Zappienza with a hat trick. The third time he's been involved with an incident tonight. And the caution flag is out. And there is a ton of damage to the Nerf bar on that 58 car. Bonsignor in second. He was not able to challenge Ryan Priest, who will see the white flag this time by in Martinsville. Final time around for Ryan Priest. He started on the front row. Got his first win here at Martinsville in the early stages of his career. Now he's the star of the NASCAR Cup Series. And tonight, he rolls through turns three and four and will win for the 26th time in the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour. Ryan Priest wins at Martinsville. And off turn four, your 2023 champion is Ronnie Silk.